Welcome, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us. We're very happy that you're here with us. Uh, we're especially thankful for BRAC, Bronx River Arts Center, for having us be a part of, of their online programming. We want to thank everybody there. Um, all the people that have helped us make this possible for you and the people that's going to make us sound good, look good. We have Truxy, Freddy, Jose, Jennifer, everybody that was able to, to help us achieve this moment. Uh, in particular, we want to thank Gail Nathan, uh, Executive Director of, of BRAC, for giving us this opportunity to perform for you and to actually do what we love to do. In this moment, I'm going to do something that really brings joy to my heart, which is introduce my friends and musicians that are part of this collaboration. Um, without them, none of this is possible, not only with their talent, their musicianship, but their friendship and their energy and, and, and the approach to this music that we do, which they're fantastic improvisers, listeners, and their technicality is just beyond. On trumpet, we have Thomas Heber. On bass clarinet, we have Christoph Canoch. On the upright bass, we have Jay Anderson. And my name is Enrique Anain. Thank you. For our presentation today, we want to focus on several topics that took part to complete a production of a CD that we recorded together. Uh, we want to talk about the process, the creative process, what takes place. Uh, particularly to me, it's important to bring together the different elements that, that, that put together and come together in a production like that, like, you know, the, the creative process, life, the things that inspire you, the, the things that, that, that make you move, that make you want to do something. We also want to go over some of the rhythmic aspects and we want to go over some of the harmonic aspects that took place to do the compositions and the compositions to be almost like a point of departure so that we can put together with the improvisers and, and then establish a conversation. Um, the title of, this, of the album is Unlayered, and, and a little bit the significance of that is taking layers of, taking textures of, of, of a lot of what happens in our existence to try to go and ground deeper, almost to the, the raw essence of who we are. And with the elements of the composition and the improvisation, we're trying to achieve that by dismantling that and almost with our improvisation, our connection, and the way we perform these songs, to find the unlimited possibilities that we can achieve instead of being limited by things that have been, through our existence, have been layering on top of us. We use those elements, we go to the raw, pure, simplest form, and from there trying to express and found the possibilities where we can achieve the ultimate conversation. Okay, let's go into the rhythmic aspect of it. Uh, I want to go over how to approach a rhythm. Uh, sometimes the, the way I like to approach different kind of grooves or rhythms uh, with the purpose of sometimes reinventing them, you know, paying tribute to, to the tradition and, and, and exploring more possibilities, changing it a little bit. Uh, I like to go to odd meters. I like odd meters uh, in general. They, they give you a separate or a different accent on, on, on some of the groups we're used to. We're used to 4-4, four, 3-4. Four, but we have five, four, seven, nine. But when you get into aspects like 17, 21, 
things get a little more interesting. So some of the rhythmic elements that I like to consider is the polyrhythms, when, when you put one rhythm against the other. Uh, something else is the time signatures, like I just said. 7-4, uh, 9-8. Uh, another thing is the meter, me, metric modulations, when, when you shift and you move from one to another. Uh, one thing is to, to play an odd figure on top of, of a beat. For example, three against one, ta ta ta, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Or you put five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. It gets interesting when you start putting five against two. One, two, da gi da di da da. You know, or five against three, seven against, seven against three, against five. Uh, we'll get into that. We'll demonstrate with some of the of the tunes and the compositions. But right now, I just want to give you a basic idea. Something also important is the groupings. How you can go over the bar line and have things like a himiola, for example, or phrasing or accents. Let's say you are in four, four, one, two, three, four, and you have a himiola, which is a group of three. One, two, three. A figure that goes maybe tan, ta, ta, tan, tan, ta, ta, tan. You put it in a context of four, four, and you're displacing it until you get back to one. One, two, three, four. Tan, ti, ta, tan, tan, ti, ta, tan. Three, ti, ta, tan. Two, ti, ta, tan. One. So four, three, little formula. It's like if you're in a bar of four, four, and you have a figure of three, it takes three bars of four to come back to one or play the figure four times. You can do that with seven, with, with any of these meters. Uh, I want to talk about groupings and do a little bit of an explanation. For example, when we have five, it's normally or commonly divided into three, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. But you can have one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. You can have three, two, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Um, let me talk about seven. Uh, it's very nice to, it's long enough to be able to explain some of these subdivisions. In seven, normally we have four, three, that's what's common. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Dun, 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 dun. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. We can play three, four. We can have four, three, three, four. Nice. So, something I like, as we were talking about playing five over three, superimposing some of these groupings. For example, we have four, three in seven. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. We're gonna superimpose four over th three over four. Okay, not himiola, just something against something. So if we have one, two, three, four, playing three over this, one, two, three, four, da, 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 one. How do we subdivide that? Another formula, you put triplets. Three notes per beat. One, two, three, taka ta taka ta taka ta taka ta taka ta taka ta taka ta. An accent every four. One, two, three, four, 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 pack, ga, da, ta ta. So if we're playing seven, four and three, we're superimposing on the four a three. And on the three part, we're superimposing a four. Four over three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, da, 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 da. Example, I play, I will play four, three, and then superimpose three, four. it opens it up, it gives it this feeling, but you're still maintaining seven from beginning to end. Another way that I like to divide seven 
is not 4, 3. I'm cutting it right in the middle. And I use a figure that is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, ah, ah, ah. 1, 2, 3, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. On, 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 off, off, off. On, 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 off, off, off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So applying that, cutting it right in the middle. Three, four. Nice. That figure can be displaced. It could start on beat two, beat three, beat four, and it gives you a total, complete different group. For example, instead of ta 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 ta, we'll do ta 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 We're dividing seven, we're playing two over seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, ah, 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 ah. Metric modulation. I can make that new one, two, a new quarter note. And then I can play on that new quarter note. I can play four, three, over two, Example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four over seven, eight over we're still in seven all of a sudden we're playing two over seven four over seven eight over seven on any of those new downbeats it could be interesting to play maybe five against two so we're playing ten over seven see the possibilities are endless one two three four five six seven two five Make the new quarter. Anyways, um, I like that. That's very interesting. You'll see that apply on the compositions. Um, moving on, I want to talk about one usually doesn't count when you're not meters. This is very important. If I'm playing in 17, I'm not like, of course you count. But you're not like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You, there's something to grab onto. That's why we do these subdivisions. Four, three. You feel four, you feel three. Or ta, 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 ta. There's something you grab onto. For example, we have clave, right? We, I'm, I'm not going to get into the whole description of the clave, but the Afro Cuban pattern that we've Afro-Cuban music phrases with that clave. We have two, three, one, two, three, four, mm, ah, ah, one, two, song clave, uh, uh, uh. two, three, rumba clave, where the third part, the third beat of the three side of the clave gets displaced, one, two, three, four, mm, ah, ah, one, uh, 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 rumba clave. We have the same three, two. It's just wherever you started. The direction is the same. You just started on two or three. So, for example, talking about clave, talking about something to hold on to. If we're in seven, I'm not going to be counting seven. A clave in seven would be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. One. One. Excellent. We have a 3-2 clave in 7. 
which is just the same as a 3 2, cutting the end. Ah, 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 ah. I'm going to put together the two clave and the three clave, one bar each. And it's going to sound like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, one. And as you see, I'm, I can play the clave here, the bell, the cascara pattern here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, Distribute it a little, give it more flavor, more colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. One. Excellent. Another way I like to divide seven, which we use this groove on one of the tunes, is end of seven, end of two, and end of four. So it's something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh -uh. Kum, uh -uh. A one, ta, ta. A lot of this, you have to feel it, almost dance it, almost sing it. There's a melody within the rhythm. I'm not doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, 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 ah. I'm feeling the subdivision. Attack, 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 attack. A one, un, un, I can't, tunk, tunk, See, that already has a groove on the drums. One, two, three, four, five, six. A one. Just uh, like accents. Uh, uh, nice. Play a little bit of a wawanko in seven. Another one I like is. One. It's a little more downbeat oriented. It starts on one. Less syncopation, less jumpy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. Excellent. So with this, we just cover a little bit of how I like to approach rhythms. When we get into the tunes, I'll show you how we did some partido alto in in 10, and some other different things in 17, 3, 4, and some groupings. Excellent. So let's move on. Excellent. So now we're back. I want to now demonstrate and show some of, of the harmonic side of the compositions and what went on into, into a little bit of the thinking of this. Uh, in terms of these compositions, it's interesting that there's no chordal instrument, but there's still harmony implied. There's a lot of, of harmonic concepts implied. We keep, we're keeping it linear, you know, with just melodic instruments. Okay, so I want to show you today how I like sometimes to approach a scale. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, do. We're all used to scales. We all practice them since we're young, etc. I want to show you a little bit how... I like to approach it and how to get shapes, new sounds, and almost create my own scales. Okay, so for example, on one of the tunes, Look, You'll and Jiggle, which we're going to play for you later, the scale is like this. So it has a flavor already, it has a, a, a sound to it. I can play it as a scale.
perfect. So I want to tell you a little bit about this scale. It's three triads that compose this scale. Mainly, the, the first part of the scale is a symmetric augmented scale. It may sound elaborate, but it's, it's just a scale that keeps a symmetry within itself, within the octave, between a D and a D. I'm playing it in D. Symmetry because the symmetric augmented scale is half step, minor second, minor third. Can we cut right there? And when we go into the symmetric scale. One, two, three. So the symmetric augmented scale, or double augmented scale, in D, that's where I'm basing this scale first. And it's, it's symmetric because it, it shapes itself symmetrically, symmetrically within the octave, between the D and the D. Minor third, minor second, minor third, minor second, minor third, minor second. So see, there's a symmetry within. That's called the symmetric augmented scale or doubly augmented scale, which is fantastic. I, I, I really like that scale. Um, the symmetry here is different than a symmetrical diminished scale, which just divides everything in half, whole, half, whole, half, whole, half, whole. This scale, with this symmetry, we have. And I'm adding on the tritone. The tritone is what divides the octave in two equal parts. So it's maintaining symmetry, symmetry there. I'm adding a major triad there. Perfect. So we have the scale. I can play it like a scale. How do I like to approach it? Get shapes, get sounds, get tones out of it. So I look for triads. I have the A-flat triad that I added, I have a D augmented triad, and an A augmented triad. Those two augmented triads, if you superimpose them, that's what gives you the symmetrical augmented scale, a fifth apart or a half step apart. If you superimpose two augmented triads, it gives you the whole tone scale, which is another symmetric scale, just whole tones throughout. In this case, symmetrical augmented. So what it gives me is a nine note symmetrical scale. The symmetrical augmented is very interesting because it reminds me of a three tonic system, meaning where you can divide this octave in three tonics. Three, a major third apart. And you can create major or minor triads out of each one. or minor and superimpose them and still get the scale. Um, the symmetry also comes from the first shape, second shape, half step, whole step, half step, half step, whole step, half step, linked by the tritone. For example, we see that on the blues scale. Shape, same shape, linked by the tritone, which is the blue note. Shape, shape, tritone, which also comes from the F pentatonic. You go to the relative minor and add the tritone, which is the blue note. All of this just to give you a little background. But finally, the scale we have. D minor. And demonstrating a little bit with the triad. See how I get a total different sound than a scale-wise movement. Or a scale approach. A 
Excellent. Let's move on to another example. Uh, you're going to see all this on the compositions that we're going to perform. Why am I talking about different shapes? Because I get different sounds, and this helps me create different either intervals, melodies, and use compositional elements. You know, like mirror image, motivic development, grabbing one phrase, repeating it, doing a variation, uh, inverting it, playing it backwards, retrograde, all, all these different compositional techniques. And in order to create some of the melodies and the bass lines for the compositions. Another example on another tune, uh, it's another scale where I use two tetra chords. A tetra chord, most, most scales, at least the ones we know, are composed by tetra chords, four notes. Four notes and four notes, linked by one step or half step. For example, the major scale. Major tetra chord, major tetra chord. Minor scale, minor tetra chord, minor tetra chord. Dominant, major tetra chord, minor tetra chord. We have a Lydian tetra chord combined with a minor. It's a Lydian flat seven scale. If you don't know what this is, it's okay. I'm, I'm just telling you the different things that can happen here. If you have Lydian and major, it's a Lydian. All of those you that are familiar with the Greek modes. Uh, we have a Phrygian tetrachord. And both together gives us another minor scale. We have a diminished tetrachord. And we can combine all of these and create scales. In this case, I have a diminished tetrachord and a harmonic minor. That's another one that I didn't mention. If you have minor and harmonic minor, is a harmonic minor scale. If you have minor and major, is the melodic scale. So, harmonic minor, no, diminished tetrachord, and harmonic minor. See, it gives me a scale with a different flavor. I can also find shapes in here. You can have a C major seven and an F sharp six, or shapes like. <laughs> elements for me to compose. Another one, I'll just go over this one quickly. This is a double harmonic scale. Harmonic tetrachord. Another harmonic tetrachord. You see, a total different flavor. And this one I'm adding the nine, a natural nine. And I'm gonna start it on the second degree, on the second mode of the scale. You can start them in any degree and get a total, complete different flavor. So we have Excellent. So those, those are just some ideas on how to approach a scale and the sounds. And all of these in order to put it together, put it together with the rhythms, have some compositions, and therefore the objective, putting it together with the musicians and create a space, a setting for the improvisation and the conversation to happen. Excellent. Now, this is the fun part. We already went through some of the rhythmic, harmonic aspects of it, and even conceptual terminology of how we want to approach this. We're back here with my brothers, and we're going to play a tune from the CD called Luculent Jiggle. Um, it's using one of the scales we already went through, adapted to bass, melodies, etc. Uh, the rhythm here, it's in 5-4, and the rhythm here that we're going to use, 
it's like a partido alto, uh, a, a rhythm that comes from Brazil. It's in 4-4, and it's almost like a funky samba. It has a little bit of both feels, right? So in 4-4, it's like one, two, three, four. Tum ta, chikum pum ka, tum 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 ka, chikum kum ka, tum tum tum. We adapted this rhythm to put it in 5-4 or 10, like a long five. And it would go like this. Sounds like this. Three, four, uh, uh, uh. Okay, so we're now going to play for you and I hope you enjoy this. A one, two, three, four.
Beautiful. Excellent. So now we're going to do another composition from the album named Queen of the Underground. Here you syncopated 7, 4, 6, 8-ish bell. Uh, to speak briefly about these bell 6, 8 patterns, we have these many variations of the African bell pattern. And one of the most common ones in 6, 8, it goes like this. And you can count it in different ways. So for example, if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One, two, three. One, two, three. A variation. One, two. Excellent. And you can count that in six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. Taka, ta, taka, ta, taka, ta, taka, ta. Feeling the subdivision. Okay, there's one variation which starts on the upbeat and it goes like this, three, four. The beauty of this six, 12, is that we can put a dotted quarter knot and feel the rhythm instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, da, 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 or one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can feel it in four. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, dotted quarter. A one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Variation. The syncopated version. One, two, three, four. What we did is we put it in seven of, of the dotted quarter. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. Atiki, atiki, takin, ka, atin, kanti, ka, antikan. The secret is on the subdivision. Remember everything we spoke about before? Seven? I'm not counting seven. I'm feeling. Distributing a little bit, giving it more colors. Nice. So, with one of the scales we used before, with that rhythm, this is Queen of the Underground.
beautiful solos, guys. That was Queen of the Underground. And I don't know if you notice about this. I, I, I like sometimes to write bass lines that are like rhythmic and melodic and with so much going on in this seven. I like how Jay is maintaining the downbeat with the quarter notes in seven and it helps all of us sinking very nicely and it also allows to a lot of subdivisions happening from that one, two, three, four that we spoke about before. Very nice. So let's move on to another tune that we're going to perform for you, which is called Dance of Endless Encounter. In this song, we're using the double harmonic scale that we spoke about before. And we're doing it in 9-4 and 10-4, mainly in 9-4. There's a tumbao figure that it's in Afro-Cuban music, the bass, the bass line is called tumbao, and it's something similar to guaracha. So instead of pum, kum, pum, kum, kum, it's a little more bouncy, and it's like pum, katum, kakatum, katum, tum, katum, takatin, tatin. The beauty of that rhythm is that it fits both sides of the club, the three, two, or the two, three, because it's the same rhythm. Two, three. Tanki tan, kiki tan, kikan. Tunka tun, kiki tun, kitun, kiki tun, kitun, tiki tun, titun. Three, two. One, two, three. Panki tan, tiki tin katan. Tiki tan, tan, tika tin katan. See, it accents with it, it phrases with it. That's what we want. Uh, adapting is like this groove, as I explained to you before, exploring, creating different options. We put it in nine. And it sounds something like tun katin ta katin katin ta tin ta ta tan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tun ta tin ta katin katin ko tin ta ka kum pum ta ka tun ta tin ko tin ta ta tan. Remember what I told you before of how to approach odd meters? I'm not counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. Of course you feel that, but I'm grabbing into something. I have a figure, a pattern, something to grab onto. It's almost like talking. It's a phrase that has a beginning and end. It almost has the rhythm, it has its own melody. For this, I'm going to use this beauty called the tambourine. The groove would be like. Actually, before we play it, I want to play the B section of this tune where it goes to 10. And it's tun katun. Why do I want to do this? I want to demonstrate a little bit of the whole rhythmic concept we spoke about before, about groupings. Here we're in 10 on the B section. The A section is in 9. And we have Christoph with the bass clarinet playing a figure that is a grouping of fives, four notes and a rest. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ta, ka, ta, ta. Ka, ta, ta, ta. One, two, three, four. So if we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tagiditi, katikati, tagidati, tatikata. And Thomas is going to play a melody with some of the ways we were splitting in half the seven or the five. One, two, three, four, five. Tan, tan, kan, kan. One, two, ah, ah. Tan, 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 tan. But we spoke about displacing that figure. So he's going to start on B2. One, tan, 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 tan. Together with it, ta ka ta ta, one two three four, one two three four, and with Jay and me doing kun ka tun ta ta tun ka tin ta ta kun ka tun. So let me just play the bass and the drums on letter B. Ten kun ka tun ta ka tun ka tin ta ta tin ka tan. Just one time. One two, two a one two three four.
Excellent. Now we're going to add one, two, three, four. Pati, kata, ta, kata, ta, kata, with Christoph doing that grouping. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> Beautiful. So you see the counterpound parts, the polyrhythms, the contrast, the notes of when we spoke about the melodies. Now we're going to add Thomas doing one, pa, pa, ka, ka, ta, 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 ta. The five displaced. And all together sounds like this. Let her be. One, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> Beautiful. These guys, what a treat. Honestly, I'm sorry I'm, I'm just stopping, but what a treat to be able to talk about all of this and, and, and just perform it and, and, and give it life. Now we're going to play the song for you. Okay, so here we go. Dance of Endless Encounter. Christoph, Jay, beautiful. So now we're going to move on to talking about groupings. 
Uh, remember how at the beginning we spoke about groupings, whether it's like over the bar line or phrases or superimposing or something against something or the subdivisions we've been talking about um, to approach mostly odd meters. Uh, another thing I want to say about practicing all of this, even if you don't perform it, then when you go back and play in 4-4 four, four or whatever, you, you become strongly rhythm, stronger rhythmically. No matter what instrument you play, you don't have to play a percussion instrument because you know your approach to whatever. If you're stronger rhythmically, it would help you. And once you, you hear all these different subdivisions, even in 4-4 four, four or just more straight ahead, you start hearing and finding cracks within the beats. And it's interesting. You, your, your phrasing can take, like we said, there's many possibilities. Talking about groupings, I want to show you another composition which is called Thriving Ring. And this one is in 17-4. It's only actually three bars. 17-4 twice and one bar of 11-4. And the way the subdivision came here, remember how in five we do 3-2 or 2-3, in seven we do 4-3 or right in the middle. Here it's subdivided as 4-4, four, 4-3, four, four, 3-4-3, three, 4-3-7, three, four, three. Four, three, and 3-10, three, 4-3-7-17. Three, 4 three, seven, 17. Four, three, three, four, three. So, da, 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 da. Ah, 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 ah. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Da, 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 ah, ah, ah. That's nice. Divided in 17. The 11 part is 4, 3, 4. Da, 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 da. What I keep saying is the fact that we don't have to count 17. I feel 4, 3, 3, 4, 3. It, it, it already talks. It has a, a, a beginning and an end. Ting, can, ting, tan, ting, can, can. Ting, can, king, tan, 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 tan. See, I'm not 14, 16. It's kind of fast what I'm doing. One, two, a one, two, three, four. One. One. We spoke about clave before. I'm going to show you something. Not off topic, but a clave that I'm working on, which is on 17. It's a 3-2 clave, and it's like one, two, I'm, I'm just going to count four. One, two, three, four. Sounds, a bo sounds like a bunch of pam, 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 pam. If I sing it, it's ta, 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 ta. Tan tan tika tin kan ka tan ka tan ka tan tan tan. Remember the subdivision I spoke about? Tan tan tika tin kan ka tikun king tun king tikun kan kan. One two ka tin kan ka tan ka tan ka tan kan ka. See how it makes sense? I'm gonna play it. Distributing it through the drum set. Actually. I'm gonna play the clave here. I'm gonna play the cascara pattern right here for the same 17 clave. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Distributing it and adding the mm. One, two, a one, two, three, four. And the beauty of this is that no one moves me from there. I'm feeling pum ching, katin kung ping, tung kan, tung kan, tung, kung kung ka, tung, katin kan ka, king kan kan ka, tka ta ka da ah 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 ah
da 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 ba ba ha. So I can start doing polyrhythms on top of that and filling the bass. That combined with a, that was a 3-2 clave in 17. A 2-3 clave in 17 would go like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. Mm. Ah, 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 ah. It's basically a clave in five, in 10, and one of the ones in seven I showed you before. One, two, one, two, three, four. Same thing, cascara, clap. This gets crazy. I put three, two, two, three. Two. Again, the, the two. Together. It's very nice. It's one of those things that faster, it's easier actually. We're gonna make it harder. We're gonna play it very slow. So the 17 slow, it's harder. Four, 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 three, three, four, three. What I want you to look at, in this example, we're gonna zoom over there. Not zoom the platform we're all using, no, zoom. <laughs> okay, we're gonna zoom over there and you can see the division of on four, three, three, four, three. I'm playing those rhythms on top that change the value on the bottom. The value on the bottom remains the same, but it feels like floating. So this here, it can get a little complicated. So I'm just gonna tell you, for example, on the four part, we're playing three over four. On the three part, we're playing four over three. As you can see on the example, then five over three, three over four, seven over three. Okay, so it'll sound something like this. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. The 17, one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, da, da. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. That was the line that is gonna superimpose on the 17. Probably the best way to explain it or the best way to not explain it is just to play it. So that's the example, you know. Um, if you want to listen to the whole tune, with the whole production, recorded, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, we would like you to check the entire album, of course. We're gonna do another composition called "What of What We Are." This one is very interesting in terms of the groupings. It's, uh, <laughs> it's one bar of five, one bar of four, three bars of five, three bars of seven. So you know usually a composition is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, or whatever. Here we're shifting in order 
to maintain the phrasing instead of just going over the bar line we're doing one two three four five one two three four one two three four five three times seven three times okay so we're zooming again to see the example of what of what we are this composition and you see one bar of five one bar of four five 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 seven 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 so if you follow this the on the staff the baseline the lower part of each stance of each section on the first one we have that's five then four quarter notes pam 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 tinky tinky ting one two three four tan ta tan ta tan remember the subdivision of five of pam pam can can cutting five in the middle that's it on bar one two three four tin tan 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 tin tan 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 the next bar is a combination of that on seven tan tan one two three four the next bar is what we did with the seven dividing it in tan 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 and we finish with tan 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 all together it sounds like this one two three four that's the whole phrase the grouping time signatures here we go so we're gonna demonstrate one of those sections of this tune for you to get a feel with of it here we go So you see, it's a grouping, it has a feel, and also if you want to hear that whole song, it's number 10 on the album. <laughs> All right. Two albums ago, first album called Instance of Time, you know, it was relating to the illusion and the different elements of time. Uh, the second album was called The Mind's Mural, just talking about how we perceive and react and interpret, almost like creating in our minds, uh, our, you know, uh, a museum, like a mural of perception and how we react to things based on that. Now with this third album, I don't know if you see a little bit the evolution, it's unlayered, it's almost removing all those textures to go deeply. Um, on that first album, Instance of Time, there's a composition called Houston. And here we have one bar of three, four. Did you see on the last song how we have five, four, five, 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 seven, seven, seven but all of them seven, four. Here we're gonna shift the metric. We're moving around with quarter notes, eight notes, and 16 notes. So we have one bar of three, four, one bar of five, eight, three, 16, five, four, five, 16, three, eight. So before we zoom in and see the example, I wanna show you it's one, two, three, four. Ah, ah, ah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, I'll count four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one. You see how it's shifting? Dun, ting, dun, ting, can, dun, ting, can, ta, ka, da, ting, ta, ka, dun. One more time. Applying it. One, 
Excellent. So let's zoom in, and I just want to show you the bars on the printed music so you can have a better idea, and then we'll play and demonstrate. Okay, so if we're zooming in, you can now see how the bars are divided. 3, 4, 5, 8, 3, 16, 5, 4, 5, 16, 3, 8. That's pretty much the phrase. I want to show you this just because one thing is to talk about it, one thing is to hear it, one thing is to see it. And now we're going to do less talking and more playing, and we're going to play Houston. Here we go, Houston. Christoph, Jay, beautiful, that was called Houston. Excellent, this has been so nice, so much fun, such a treat for us. 
to to be able to come together and perform and demonstrate and and just the simple fact of being able to to share with all of you uh, some of our our, our passion. Um, this is an udu drum, beautiful instrument, comes from Nigeria, from the people of Igbo. If this used to be udu means vessel, pot like a like a jar. Used, they used to, you know, transport water from the river to the houses. Also, this was actually developed by the women of Igbo in Nigeria. And they also used it for, for religious ceremonies, etc. Um, we're just going to play a little bit here with my brother Christoph. And you can hear this also played on the recording on the album. And we hope you enjoy it. stuff. Udu drum. Thank you. All right, so we come to the conclusion of our presentation, uh, kind of the making of Unlayered, which is our most recent recording. 
some of the rhythmic elements that we use, some of the approaches we have to the harmony, the interaction, the compositions, the improvisation, pretty much the, the conversation we're able to achieve every time, almost on a free jazz setting, grounded in the compositions we played before. Uh, one more time, I cannot finish this without thanking tremendously Brack Bronx River Art Center for having us be a part of their programming, for allowing us to come and, and present something that brings us joy and share with you our passion. Uh, we thank all of the people involved in making this happening. Um, Jennifer, Freddie, Chuxi, Jose, and thank you so much for our executive director, Gail, Nathan, for having us here. Um, my brother's right here. Jay Anderson on the bass. Jay Anderson. Christoph Enoche on the bass clarinet. Christoph Enoche. Thomas Heber on the trumpet. Thomas Heber. Um, I want to close by reading something of the linear notes of this album called Unlayered. Unveiling the manufactured essence of the sympathetic existence. Cutting through the shadows of the dusty, transparent illusion. Grounding deeper flying higher, dancing to the raw laughs around the source. Drown into the possibility of the possibility. Meet yourself over and over on the edges of the removed textures and find again and again the infinite flavor on the underlying capes of denial. Your uncreated beauty never ends. Thank you so much. We love you. Stay well. <laughs>